uh, process and uh, creation of e-content. So uh, it, this will be mainly focusing on the uh, social sciences subject and geography. So uh, all are for geography, right? All are for geography, right? In this uh, breakout room. Yes, ma'am. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, let us start it. And uh, mm, uh, since uh, we are trying to understand integration of ICT so uh, into teaching learning process, so I'll be, for a few minutes, I'll be talking about integration of ICT uh, in general for all the subjects. And then we will gradually uh, uh, graduate to... Uh, you know, in integration of ICT into social sciences and geography, especially. So, uh, let us start. Uh, there are four questions that are very important to understand while we are trying to integrate ICT into teaching learning process. And they are what, why, whom, I mean, for whom, and how. So, these four questions are very important. By what, I mean, what is the purpose uh, behind uh, integration of ICT? Then what is the theme or topic to be covered? Then conceptualization. These three are very important things. Then why do we need to do it? Uh, what is the need or purpose for integration of ICT? This is also very important. And then advantage over traditional way of teaching learning. So uh, why what and why question? These two are uh, the questions that are very important. Then next, what we want to uh, know is that, and or we should uh, ponder upon, is that for whom are we trying to integrate? So the target group is very important, and for which area, the target area or the subject, it is very important to understand. Then uh, the fourth question is very important is how? So type of resources, e-content, tools, use, etc. These are uh, very important to understand that what types of resources we will be using and that will be dependent on uh, for whom are we, uh, you know, integrating ICT. So uh, what is important is that age group will be very important for this. Uh, now uh, we have uh, discussed the four questions that we need to uh, address. That is uh, what, why, uh, for whom and how. Then uh, now I'll be uh, switching over to integration of ICT and the model that we use for integration of ICT. So any person, any teacher uh, who is trying to integrate ICT has to have three important knowledges. That is very important. One is technological knowledge, one is uh, uh, content knowledge and another is uh, pedagogical knowledge. So the these three integration of um, I mean uh, these three model uh, sorry these three knowledges uh, is uh, shown with the help of a TPAC model which is commonly used in education and uh, many of us must be knowing about it also. So this TPAC model uh, shows technological no integration I mean uh, intertwining of technological knowledge, content knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. So a combination of all these three are required for a good uh, for a good uh, e-content creator or who is integrating ICT into teaching learning process. Now, this is an example of types of e-content. You must have had various sessions for, uh, you know, related to e-content and uh, types of e-content and all those things and how to create. Then this is one of the types of e-content. Uh, this is an infographic of uh, showing importance of Himalayas. I have just, you know, shown, I'm just showing this for an example uh, that uh, if uh, we are showing things with the help of a text, suppose these three, these seven points were in text bullet points. And then these uh, seven points are uh, in the form of infographic. So what, you know, it is, it looks more interesting. It catches the attention. Uh, they are able to understand. Anybody is able to understand things in a much better manner with the help of these graphics and infographics, basically. Infographic means information plus uh, graphics. So uh, when any information is disseminated in the form of graphics or with the help of graphics, it is known as infographic. Now, uh, this is uh, coming to the next stage. 
uh, we have talked about, uh, you know, four questions that we need to keep in mind. Then we talked about the TPAC model that, uh, you know, few skills are required for any, uh, for um, any uh, person to integrate ICT into teaching learning process. And then uh, we talked about the, uh, um, uh, then we talked about the types of e-content, what is infographic and all. And then uh, uh, this is the RD model. Now we are focusing on the uh, creation of e-content. So uh, when we are talking about creation of e-content, so this is the commonly used model for creation of e-content. And this is called RD model. A First, A stands for uh, 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 the analysis, then analyze. Then uh, D first D stands for design, then uh, develop, then implement, and then evaluate. So these are the five uh, stages that are required for uh, 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 the development of an e-content. So analyze means in, uh, the needs, requirements, tasks, participants, current capabilities, etc. are uh, involved in that. Then design is like uh, uh, we think what what all things we have to include the learning objectives, delivery style, and you know language and all those things. Then what are uh, activities and exercises will be included in this? Then uh, the second D stands for develop. We actually develop the uh, you know uh, program. Then implement. Uh, and then uh, uh, evaluate. So there are various ways for evaluation, like awareness generation, asking questions, quizzes. We can also decipher with the help of you know behavior and all. So these things are required. Now, uh, social science tools that are very important that we take into account. There are lots of tools that can be integrated by uh, teaching uh, during te teaching learning process. But some of the important tools that I have explored or I use or that can be easily accessible and used in your teaching learning process are one is Bhuvan. Uh, second is uh, Bhuvan is an uh, uh, indigenous uh, uh, platform, uh, in, uh, online platform that is uh, has been developed by ISRO. And there, there is lots of data in that uh, all the government data are there are there and you you can already maps are also there and you can utilize all those things for your uh, teaching learning process then you have uh, uh, marble kd then you have google earth then you have qgis uh, marble kd is actually kd is the uh, you know name of the community that develops a uh, free and open source software so marble is a free and open source software you can download it and use it according to you can customize it also according to your needs then you can create maps you can measure the distance you can you can have a, a you know a, a, a street view then you have already developed maps uh you can zoom in zoom out the earth you can use it in a globe form or a map form then uh, chart form, I mean to say, then you have uh, this uh, uh, already created maps of, you know, uh, maybe 18th century, 14th century and all those things are already there. So uh, uh, you can create your own, own map also using the data that is there or import the data and you can use it. Then you have Google Earth. Google Earth, many of us must have uh, used it. And uh, uh, Google Earth has lots of resources in that they have, uh, you know, you can rotate the, you can show it to them 3D form. Then you can zoom in, zoom out. You have this uh, uh, street view uh, uh, feature. Then you have already, you have lots of photographs, beautiful photographs. They have, you know, a pool of photographs. Then they, you have uh, 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 video clippings you have in Google Earth. You can, you know, measure the distance and all those things. You can do it. Then you have QGIS. QGIS is again open, free and open source software and uh, used for uh, making maps and all. Mapchart.net is another tool uh, where we you can you create a map uh, and uh, it is an interactive way where you can make a map and you can also uh, involve your students to make a map in one of the classes. So they will also be interested in doing so. Then you have Trophy. Trophy is a uh, uh, you can call it a an online library where you can store various pictures and then you can use it later on for your own you know purpose or for uh, for your research work or you your anything or you for your teaching process then uh, you have Visme, fusion charts 
uh, you have uh, Google Chat, etc. These are used for making various um, uh, charts, etc. Graphs and charts for economics or in geography also we create map, uh, you know, charts and all when we are talking about uh, uh, rainfall, I mean, the uh, distribution of late rainfall across, across the year or the, you know, years and all those things. Then you have, uh, then we also, we have lots of charts and graphs, etc. You can use it for economics, you can use, use it for geography or for any other subject. Then you have windy.com where you can uh, have a look at the real-time climatic conditions of all over the world. Then you have Stellarium where you it, it can also be downloaded. This is also free and open source software, Stellarium. You can download it, use it, customize it according to your wish. And then uh, uh, this shows the real time uh, location of, uh, you know, uh, 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 all those uh, um, uh, these uh, uh, heavenly bodies or the, the planets, the stars, etc. The real time right now also you can, when we'll see it, you can find out various planets, etc. Whatever they, that is existing uh, where you are located. So at, at my location, I can see what is there in the sky right now. Otherwise, I can't see it because it's a daytime. But uh, even at night time, if you have pollution or light pollution or air pollution, you cannot see the stars etc it is very difficult for us in delhi ncr to look at to find stars you know lots of stars forget about planets we can't even you know uh sometimes we are not able to uh, see the you know bright shining stars also right now it's just it's complete smoggy it's smog completely it's like uh, foggy fog and smog mixed uh so uh in delhi ncr so uh uh, then uh, so Stellarium will be hel is helpful in uh, looking at uh, if you are interested uh, then you are looking at the um, uh, sky at the, at any particular time and any, any particular location uh, then you have Sutori Sutori is a an online platform where uh, you have lots of lesson plans plans for various topics and for various stages. So when you uh, are planning to teach a particular topic, so you can get some ideas from this. So uh, from uh, from this, that how to go about for a topic, how to teach a particular topic. So it's it's a good uh, resource. I mean, it's a good place where which is helpful for teachers. Then you have flightradar24.com where you can uh, see the real time movement of uh, flights, I mean, air, aeroplanes. So by this, you can, you will be able to understand the uh, traffic, air traffic, and what all uh, cities are, or what all regions are very heavily, uh, you know, loaded with uh, flight traffic, I mean, the air traffic. And so it helps in travel and tourism and management of any particular uh, uh, place uh, with regard to this air traffic and you know infrastructure facilities and all but then we generally we use it also in our day-to-day -day life google arts and culture uh we have you have gmail when you open the you know you click on the dots the right at the right hand side and then you uh, have a drop down uh, you know option and then you you choose you from there you open your google drive so there when you scroll Further, you can find Google Arts and Culture. It's a tool and where you have lots of pictures, videos, etc. of uh, artists. You have historical events. You have, uh, you know, uh, pictures of historical figures. Then you have uh, uh, um, uh, in, with lots of things, with paintings, etc. you have in that. And these are helpful in teaching us uh, for, uh, you know, various topics related to history, sociology, you know, culture and all. So in geography also we deal with some of the things while we are talking about some historical event and then what was happening at that time, uh, you know, in the social social, you know, uh, arena. Then you have Google Cardboard. Then you have uh, Google Cardboard was you know launched very. Uh, these were the early. Uh, uh, tool for uh, uh, which was used for virtual reality. You had what this cardboard. Uh, this uh, heads, uh, headset of uh, and then you used to you can place your mobile in that you have a uh, cam uh, this lens in that and uh, it used to get reflected and you have a software for that so earlier this was the one of the you know earliest uh, virtual reality uh, 
headset that we had. Now you have lots of them. Achha, we have this virtual reality thing in uh, Stellarium also. You you can have a real time, you know, how it feels as if you are standing uh, outside your uh, house and looking at the sky. Uh, it gives you that feeling. Then other generic tools that you can use are Audacity, OpenShot Video Editor, Canva, and various animation tools. You must have gone through all these tools in these uh, in the previous uh, days. So you can all use all these tools also for uh, your uh, preparation of any uh, creation of any e content and using or uh, and using that for uh, your you know teaching learning process then you have games also lots of games are there in national geographic uh, kids and then in geo guesser google art and culture and all you know here you have lots of games you can also create a game uh, uh, on your own also then you have songs on various topics for, for example um, like it uh, i have shown it i've written it marais and miranda nature songs balance of nature how is silk made parts of a tree etc so these are some of the these were the songs you know uh, created long back i mean years back decades back and uh, these were uh, related to uh, nature balance of nature and all those things how silk form so i'm sure you all uh, you know uh, we have songs lots of folk songs in our uh, you know culture also in your region also you just have to uh, you know uh, know that and you have to just uh, give importance to that and uh, you know you can use those songs in your teaching learning process also so we have uh, our cultural songs we have our, our folk songs that they, they describe about the uh, you know nature they describe about the uh, culture that people follow they described about they describe about the uh, seasons maybe or the crops we grow so you know folk songs have all these things we just need to pay attention to them and then we can uh, then we have to use them in our teaching learning process mm, now i'll just give you a, a glimpse of some of the uh uh, uh uh, these tools that we have talked about. This is the screenshot of Bhuvan and how it looks like. And you have uh, Bhuvan 2D, 3D uh, form of, you know, in 3D form and all these things. Then you have uh, application sectors where you have e-governance, tourism, urban, rural, etc. Then you have thematic services, ocean services, disaster management services, create a map, etc. Uh, then you have uh, uh, this... Uh, uh, this is Marble KD that I was talking about. It's a free, free and open source software. Then you have, you can install it, you know, in various forms. Then you have uh, uh, Marble and the, you have lots of features in Marble. You see, uh, this is classic topographical map and map, open feed map, satellite view, Behem Globe, nine, a 1492 map is, it is already there. Earth at night, historical map of 1689, plane map, political map, and all those things are there. You can create your own map also. Uh, and this is for, for developers. See, uh, you can support, you can understand how to go about with the help of the, this. Then you have this Google Earth. And when you open Google Earth, you have the, all these features here. You have Voyager projects, map style photos, etc. So when you click on these, uh, suppose I have clicked on uh, Voyager, then this will open. And here you have nature, games, layer, street view, culture, travel, education. Lots of features are there. Uh, so uh, then you have QGIS. Uh, this is again free and open source software. You can create map and all, download it and use it. Then uh, uh, this is trophy I was talking about. Explore your research photos. So you can, so as I told you, it's, it's a, a, an a, a online, it's, it's an online library for storing your photograph, etc. Then you have windy.com. I was talking about it, real time, where we can see the real time uh, uh, climatic conditions. Then you have Stellarium. Uh, uh, Stellarium is again free and open source software. You can download it and use it for looking at the real time uh, you know celestial bodies uh, at uh, present at your location then you have sutori as i told you uh, 
uh, it is, uh, as it says, transform your lessons into collaborative learning experiences. So you can get lesson plans for various topics here. You can also contribute your lesson plan that you have prepared for any particular topic. Then this is flightproda24.com. As I said, these are yellow, yellow ones are the flights and the traffic tra fly, Traffic is being seen here. Then this is Google Arts and Culture. When you uh, click on these dots in your Gmail, then your drop down window comes. And then uh, here you have, when you scroll it, you have Google Earth, then you have our Google Arts and Culture. And here you have art camera, 360 degree videos, you have street view, you have, you know, artists and then you have uh, uh, museums and all those things you know historical figures historical events all these things features are there then you google cardboard i was talking about this is national geography kids where you have games for various topics then you have so guess it here also you have games etc then you have google arts and culture here also uh, you have uh, games, see, home, uh, here you have uh, pick a game to play, pottery, what came first, you know, crosswords, visual crosswords, opera, puzzle party, art coloring book, geo artwork, guess the line, and you know, where is hopper, all these, is, all these options are there. These are various games for various levels. Now, these were all about the tools. This is some of the suggestions, suggested references that I would like you to uh, um, refer to this is the some of the uh, you know video lectures that we recorded video lectures that uh, sessions that are uploaded on the um, NCRT's official YouTube channel for various uh, uh, tools that I have discussed here they are Hindi they are in English and both the languages then you have then we have some of the suggested readings that we have uh, if you can add your uh, the new NCF for foundational stage and uh, school stage as well. So uh, this was all about uh, you know various uh, topics. I mean the various uh, uh, things that we have uh, discussed, various tools that we have. Uh, we have time for anybody has any question? Anybody has any question? Anybody has any question? Uh, anybody has any question? Do, does anybody want to ask something? No, ma'am, all good? Okay. Uh, Acha, you wanted me to go slower. Acha, theek hai, okay. So, uh, can you see my screen? I'm trying to open some uh, something. Can you see my screen? Can somebody uh, say? Uh, let's start with Stelladium. I just typed Stellarium. This is Stellarium and here you have various uh, versions to download. Linux, Linux Snap, Source and all those things, Windows, etc. Mac and all. Uh, I'm clicking to Stellarium Web. Uh, so this is uh, Stellarium and... Uh, 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 See, there was a there's a shooting star right now, and if I can see, this thing is moving. See, the uh, satellite is there. 
Starlink 4726. Here also, see, so, see so many. Uh, these all moving things are satellites. See, Starlink 1153. Then you have this 5659. Then you have this... Uh, Cosmos 1536R. These are all, you know, these moving things are uh, uh, satellites. These all moving things are. So right now I am in uh, Noida and here we have lots of satellites there that are moving ahead of, you know, of where I'm sitting. So here is also a satellite moving thing. See, starting 2320. And right now, or now I can see Jupiter, uh, Uranus. I mean, I can find Jupiter, Uranus. Uranus. Uh, this is Polaris, classical. Uh, you know, it's a group of stars. Then you have uh... okay. So I'll quickly uh, take you to the journey. This is if I click on constellations. We we have been talking about constellations. So, uh, see, these are various constellations. And we also talk about that, uh, uh, you know, uh, we have this uh, various uh, forms on constellations. Uh, uh, see how beautiful it looks, right? So, various uh, fi figures are there uh, representing the constellations. Then, double-click it. I can remove all these things. Then, you have this atmosphere. How it looks like the sheen with the blanket. Then you have this landscape. Here is the moon. <laughs> then you have, uh, uh, you know, projection. Then you have another projection. Then I have deep sky objects, very far off objects. See, it's a Suddenly, uh, if I click on it, it appears. And if I click on it, uh, this is Andromeda Nebula. So, a uh, little bit of uh, features. I mean, information is also there. Then, if I unclick on it, this is the night mode. When we are looking at the uh, sky, with the help of this, uh, this is an app. Also. You have an app for this also. I have there. I have uh, this app in my uh, mobile phone. So when we use it during the night time, uh, by for locating the any celestial body, any star or planet uh, at night time. So we generally use it in this uh, night mode. Uh, this uh, in this manner, in night mode manner. Why? Because when we are looking at the screen of the mobile. Uh, uh, with regard to this, I mean, and using this app. Uh, so uh, if, if it's not a night mode, our eyes will get used to of the light of the uh, this uh, uh, mobile light. So it will be difficult for us to look out, uh, you know, and then locate outside and locate the planets at night or, or any celestial body. So we generally use uh, Stellarium in a night mode while we are using our uh, this in our app. There are other apps also that we can download and use for uh, looking at the, you know, uh, uh, celestial bodies at the real time the celestial bodies. So this was Stellarium. Now I'll be opening this. Uh, 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 okay, I'll, I'll show you. Mm. Uh, see here, this is my Gmail uh, inbox. And then uh, I'll click on this Google Apps. These are a few dots that are there. Uh, nine dots. I'll click on this. You have lots of apps here. Then you click on, uh, you have Drive and everything. You uh, just scroll down and then you will find this um, Google Earth. I'll click on this separately. Open in a new window. Oh, sorry. Achha, let it work, get open. No, 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 no. And then uh, while it is opening, I'll just click on this again and I'll open this Google Arts and Culture. Uh, 
uh, I was talking about the various features that we have in this Google Ads and Culture. See, this is home. And if I scroll gradually, you will find lots of things here. Discover, step inside a pocket gallery, you know, artwork of the day, portrait of a journey through the Americas, art and culture tradition. All those things are already there. Museums of Germany. Then you have this, you know, paintings are there. Then you have this uh, uh, art museums, etc. There, then take a picture story of the day. Then incredible views from the top. You know, views from the top for various monuments and important features. Figure lakes, forests, and cottages. Then games are there. See, games are there. Lots of games are there. Then uh, you have this uh, science museum. Lots of things that you just need to use, utilize these things uh, in your teaching learning to explore 3D. Uh, 3D may, how does it look, any, any uh, thing looks like uh, in 3D, you can show it to your you know, students. Then you have uh, uh, Mm -hmm. explore see lots of features are there I was as I was talking about various themes are there preserving our past then you have the Southeast Asia the world's habitat Pakistan's new a museum of food beat by beat you know lots of things are there you there they are already existing you just need to uh you know utilize these things uh for your teaching learning process then uh you know all these things are there play may you have lots of uh, games as i showed it to you you can uh utilize all these things <coughs> You know, you can keep a day for your students for uh, 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 visiting the, the computer lab and then you can show the uh, various, uh, you know, help them in playing the game also. I clicked on what? So these were uh, some of the features there were there. I just clicked on something uh, which I could not correct it. So I'm again sharing it. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, can you see this? The 3D picture of a, I mean 3D uh, model of a, the mountainous area? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, you know, these are various layers. That are there. Various tools are there. Then, uh, you know, all these things are there. 2D, 3D, 2D version is here. Then if you want to click on a 3D or 3D version is there. I'll just zoom it out. So, but you can zoom in and zoom out and then you can show it to uh view
And so if you want to add a polygon, you know, add anything on the, uh, this tools, their measurement tools are also there. So these are some of the features that we have in, uh, you know, Google Earth. And you can show all these things to the students while you are teaching them how the mountain looks like. This is the uh, Aksaitin Lake. Then how the tributaries are there, how the, uh, you know, rugged terrain we have uh, in the mountains. Then we can also show, let me just show you. Uh, See, while you're talking about the Great Lakes, you can zoom in and uh, show them how does it looks like, you know, how they are interconnected or not. Uh, you know, the travel routes that we have, uh, internal travel routes that we have. how the depth of the sea can be seen, how the, you know, uh, physical features on the uh, uh, ocean floor are there, how the depth increase. So we represented by light blue when we are near to the coast. And then we, as the depth increases, we, you know, it keeps on increasing. See. Uh, so uh, this is some of the these are some of the tools that we can use while we are uh, teaching learning in process. Then you can show how this uh, estuary is there, how delta delta and estuary. See if I clicked on in Kolkata, it does a little bit of feature. I mean, important features are also there. Then if I click, keep on clicking, how you know. Uh, this delta sundarban delta is there then uh Chilka lake is there so how how uh, it looks like the coastal areas you know see what a bar what are you know when we are explaining them what is a bar or what is a spit uh then uh, you know we can explain these things very easily with the help of uh, C. Google Earth. How an island looks like by how it is found, how the you know natural embankment it acts as a natural embankment a bar, and you know all these things we can easily show it to the. Uh, uh, students while we are teaching them. See, we can go till this extent, street view. You know, so closely we can see. So this was, uh, uh, you know, uh, all about some of the uh, features that I should I show you uh, quickly. I'll also show you um, uh, uh, windy.com. Right?
So in windy.com, as you can see, these are the, the white, you know, lines that are moving. These are the wind, I mean, wind, how the winds are moving. So these are moving in this direction, this direction. You know, we, while we are teaching them the climatic conditions and the circulation, the general circulation of, uh, uh, you know, uh, atmosphere, then we teach them uh, uh, the movement or the, the movement of winds from this direction to this direction then, and also from uh, high pressure area to low pressure area and how it, uh, it moves in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Then you have this option of zoom, zooming in and zooming out. And while we are explaining the students the difference of temperature, uh, then we can also, uh, uh, you know, show them then uh, there is an option of temperature. See, so the world temperature, real time world temperature is seeing the uh, this uh, uh, equatorial region we have warmer. Uh, uh, it's it's warmer, so it is seen. Uh, it is shown by this. Uh, there is a you know temperature here uh, it is the uh, the legend that is there uh, from minus 20 to 40 degrees centigrade and later uh, centigrade and later on uh, higher also so we have <coughs> colder area in here we have warmer this side so uh, 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 it will be it is uh, see how wind is moving from higher high pressure area to low pressure area so this is how it is it, there is a cyclonic depression here uh, and it is moving in an anti-clockwise direction uh, let me just check out if there is any other cyclonic depression uh, we cannot find it so uh, so this is how it looks like we can also show i have unclicked it uh, then uh, we can also, also show rain and thunder, right? So rain and thunder and uh, map is there. Then clouds, we can see, see how the clouds, uh, cloud cover can also be seen. Air quality can be seen, you know. Uh, parts, parts per thousand and, you know, particulate matter. Uh, in this manner, then we have, you know, all these things, radar and satellite, weather radar. That's a, okay. I'm allowing to know my location. So radar and satellites will be seen here, uh, you know. See, I'm located here. So it is being seen. Then we have uh, a temperature clouds, waves. Let us just see the waves, the wave pattern. Uh, these things are there. So, you know, you can, uh, how the uh, ocean currents are moving in a particular direction from, uh, you know, which uh, warmer, um, from colder to warmer, warmer to colder, and all the of uh, the ocean currents, how they affect the uh, temperature of a particular area. So all these things can be uh, seen through uh, this windy dot com. Now, uh, um, any other thing I'll show you. Uh, one. So this is what I was talking about is a geo uh, spatial uh, um, geo platform of ISRO and developed by uh, uh, ISRO. And then we have this Bhuvan 2D, Bhuvan 3D. I'll just quickly click on this. And then here you have, uh, you can zoom in, zoom out from here. And we have, uh, you know, features here, the one to be. Then you have this draw tool and all the features are here. Then you have uh, uh, this menu bar. 
yeah, satellite map, vector map, hybrid map. I'll just quick click on uh, satellite map. Okay, so how the uh, how India looks like from satellite, it is seen and the quadrants are being seen here. Then you have uh, this, they have in, I mean, changed the features and all a little bit. Then you have this uh, vector map. Okay, so we will be closing the, okay, breakouts room in 15 minutes. Then you have this terrain map. See, the terrain map is there and the legend is here. You can show it to the students while we are explaining the uh, vector map is here. While we are talking about the various uh, uh, features, it is there. And then you have the ocean services, post and sector, all these things, they are already there. Then you have this um, hydrology map. So here you can see the river basins and all. These are the important rivers and then their river basins. Then uh, this shows navigate to old 2D. So they, as I told you, they have a change of some of the features. So if you want, if you're comfortable with the Earlier one, you can switch to that, and uh, you know this is how it works. Then, uh, add layers. You can add layers to it, and then you can see. Then you have, you know, some of the features. The other features I'll show you. Uh, these are the sliders that are there. Blue one three D is there. Open data data archive is there. Then you have lots of you know uh, already existing data you have in the slider. You have this tourism. I click on archaeology. So you have all the archaeological sites of India uh, identified by the uh, archaeological survey of India. You can click on any one, and you can have uh, you know a uh, little bit of uh, a photograph and then a little bit of information about it. And then you can click on the circle and find out, you know, uh, zoom in and you can find out other features also. Uh, you have tools where you can add, layer, draw, measure area and all those things are there. Uh, satellite mode, hybrid mode, uh, terrain map and hybrid, suppose, for example, this is there. Satellite base admin is there, you know, or various forms. You can zoom in, zoom out here. This is the inset map where we are right now then uh, the quadrants are um, quad, uh, these are being shown here this is the scale then you have this uh, uh, you know, I, I'm okay. uh, then you have lots of features that you can access here thematic services uh, ocean services disaster management services create a map and all those things State-wise applications are also there. Uh, you have, uh, you can uh, register and you can utilize various other uh, data, I mean, various other things also in thematic services. Let us click on that. Select a theme, suppose land cover. Uh, 2015 16 land use land cover now. Select state. I am selecting, for example, a SAP option. Okay, then view. See, already the map is already there. You just need to select, and the generated map will appear. And this is the legend. Uh, you can see you can utilize this map download map download statistics technical document you can also download zoom to a particular district or you can zoom in this way also 
So uh, there are various uh, themes that are already there. The existing maps are there. Urban sprawl. Any anything can be uh, seen. Okay. I'll stop sharing. And uh, if anybody has to ask anything, can ask. Anybody has any question or you want to share something? Uh, have you explored any of the tools uh, uh, that I have mentioned or any other tool, really good tool that you have explored so you can share with us, anybody? Can anybody share his or her experience? Nobody has any any experience use, uh, for the use of regarding use of these tools. Anybody has to say some anything? Uncle, could you understand yeah. google art and culture you can click on to click on the dots that are there in your gmail account and, yeah. then, you can open it. and then you can click on that and uh, various uh, features related to art and culture are there. so uh, you can explore that hello ma'am yes yes ma'am uh, am I visible? Uh, no, you are not visible. Like we can hear you rather. So I hope uh, you'll be able to understand a few uh, new tools and you will be utilizing these tools in your teaching learning process. Or you can create an e-content. How will you create an e-content? You can record your screen while you are scrolling and you, uh, you know, you are using these tools. So you can do it by that way also. Create an e-content also by, you know, screen recording uh, the tools that you will be exploring. So you can do it by this way also. So uh, I think we will be directed to the main room now. And... Uh, uh, Still, if you have any question, we can uh, take it up. 